Good morning everybody. This is your first video in a series of small videos to show you um, the work of CP5. Okay, we're going to start with line numbering and I just used the activity 2.1 in your textbooks on page 78. And, but you can use anything to practice if you can, otherwise you can just watch and maybe just familiarize yourself with the steps. That will also help you once we get back to class so that it's not so new. Okay, the first thing that we have to do when we number the lines is we have to isolate the paragraph um, that we're going to number the lines of. Now I'm first going to show you just what it looks like when you number lines, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So it will be under page layout and you'll see there's line numbering and let's say just we go on to continuous and it looks like this, you can see this. This is if you just number without um, isolating a paragraph or anything like that, let me just undo. But when you get the instruction they will absolutely tell you to number the lines of a certain paragraph. So I'm just going to use this paragraph to number the lines of. Um, first things first, you have to isolate the paragraph. So you have to put in a section break at the top of the paragraph and a section break at the bottom of the paragraph. That's how you isolate it. So I click right in front of that word for the paragraph and I go to breaks and I put in a continuous break and you'll see it there and then also right at the back of the paragraph again go to break put in continuous break now it will kick out many times an extra line spacing you will have to delete that otherwise you will lose a mark for line spacing so once you've done that you select the paragraph you go to line numbers. Now I'm first going to just do the simple line number. And you always do restart each section. As so, and there you have it. One, two, three, four, five. So when will you lose marks? You will lose marks if that one is in the white space there. And that five is in the white space there. That's where you will lose marks. Okay, so this is the first video of line numbering. So I'm going to undo this quickly because I want to show you if they ask you to start this line numbering with a certain number, then it will look like this. Line numbers, and you will have to go to line number options. And then again, line numbers here at the bottom. Add line numbering. Let's say we're going to start at 3, so we just put three in there and then if they ask you to count they sometimes will ask you especially if it's a longer paragraph to count by two or three or whatever so let's say we're going to count by two just for now then you'll put the number in there and you will still do restart each section make sure that's selected click OK and click OK so you see it's supposed to start at three four, five, six, and so on. If you don't have to count by anything, let's just say, and we're going to start by three, add line numbering, start at three, we're going to count by one, restart each section, okay, okay. And there we have it. Hope it helps.